Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John's report. It's for the 14th, and we finally made it to Bastille Day. And in fact, nobody really cared. And what has the market done but gone up? There you have it. Once they realized there was absolutely nothing going on with the, uh, you know, social lawyer meetings with Junior, and then all of a sudden, of course, the Fed said that, hey, by the way, uh, things aren't as bad as we thought they could be, and so we're going to have to actually continue to raise rates, which we all knew they were planning to do regardless, but they're going to do it a little bit less dramatically. So, hey, less dramatically is better than the way they've been going, and the market liked that, and you can see that from a daily standpoint, we had the uh, orange here moving all the way down below the green, and let's see if we put the reading number on this for that close. We get the full. Uh, negative 758 versus uh, negative 832, so just shy of dipping below the red at that particular point. I think the opening finger, though, will actually have it that way. Yeah, minus uh, 799 versus the red at 674. So uh, we'll start the open with uh, that situation. Hopefully, get a little bit of a pullback into that. It was pretty clean action from uh, before. We knew that anything above the AB in green here. Uh, which was uh, right there at 2417 was the long call. We've been expecting the uh, 2450. And what did I say back when we were close to it before? We were like, what, two ticks or something? And I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to go back and forth, and it's going to look like it's all falling apart. And then what? You're going to find yourself right back at 2450. Okay, so it's going to be more saying I told you so because that would be the story of what? 80% of the reports I've ever done. <laughs> And cute right back there at the peak as well. So it's a little bit behind. So that's an interesting one. It's slightly below its highs. And then for that, uh, be pretty well balanced. The euro still holding on well despite that uh, indication of uh, potentially rising rates and that. So uh, that's kind of shocking given the disaster with which you know, the EU really is. So some of this is just central bank uh, inflation there that uh, really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But that's not really how we trade. Because if you try and trade off logic and what should be, you will get burned every single time. So don't do that. Just go and put the readings on. And speaking of which, here's another one of those cases. TLT making an improvement. Um, because some people, I guess, thought that uh, the Fed was going to be raising rates more. But still, uh, this is still significantly high. But we saw the improvement in the shakeout the last few days. And the fading of the orange coming in there as we got the cross of the green. A little tepid on this move, I think, but uh, it still can uh, increase uh, as far as the orange dipping in there. It's a really, really strong signal. And USO, uh, big drawdown in the inventories, um, but the indication still that the plot, this is the thing. The U, you know, everyone was saying that we couldn't turn on the spigot when needed, but uh, I think that U.S. producers now have really hone this in and are going to be incredibly efficient at uh, taking advantage of any spike in price to increase their production and do it rapidly. And that ability is going to continue to put downward pressure uh, on price and keep it in pretty much a stabilization zone, uh, irrespective of OPEC. And that is going to be a sea change in how things work and how those other economies uh, uh, depend on the oil go. Now, the next question is, though, that uh, decline in inventory, um, really what now we're going to have to start looking at is uh, how much growth in production we're seeing, because that is going to tell us how hot the economy <coughs> is starting to get, and that will make a big difference going forward. Gold, nice little uptick from the base, and we knew this was just about to be extremely overthrown. This is just a little uptick uh, from that break. It might get the orange dipping all the way below, but you can see short-term buyers already Peaked out, no real pressure for the inflation at this particular time. And look at that spot. You can see this is so nice. We came off the earlier buy on the shrink up the other day. So we had the nice run from the low right through there, and we pretty much stayed above the ABM for this whole stretch uh, until we got all the way up here at this peak where we ended up uh, well with the red, the DOC, and the orange, all of everything got way above there. And that was the only time that we led to a little break. Was that even much of a trade? No, but needless to say, it's a warning at that particular point. And, um, you know, from that particular trigger area, uh, which took place all the way around the 2441, I mean, what was the biggest dip that we got there? 39, I mean, 
still, it's a few points. What are we going to do? Well, it's 37. So. Uh, it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, particularly in a day trade, I would not be upset taking those uh, moves and then buying the days that doesn't do anything for you. That's just the way it works. Particularly when you get a breakout day like this, you know you're going to finish it back at the highs anyway. Uh, like you're really not going to feel back to quite a bit of this, uh, much of this breakout from its peak point. Probably going to get filled. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get filled now or before we get to my target of 24 or 50. Uh, that is the uh, <laughs> long standing and uh, previously dictated goal. So we'll see. Based on what we're looking at, uh, we're already looking at oversold at this particular point already at the 4042. I would consider these are a pretty good shot of getting there this week. So that's the general concept of where we're at. As always, don't trade well. We'll talk to you later.